This LOS is Calculate and Interpret Portfolio Standard Deviation. Variance of a Portfolio of Assets. The standard deviation of a portfolio is the square root of the portfolio variance. We can see that the formula includes covariance here. So the formula for standard deviation of a portfolio, weight one squared times variance one plus weight two squared times variance two plus two times weight one, weight two, covariance of the two. But remember, covariance also equals correlation times standard deviation times standard deviation. So we can rewrite the portfolio standard deviation formula to be weight one squared variance one plus weight two squared variance two plus two times weight one, weight two, standard deviation one, standard deviation two times the correlation. With any correlation less than one, then the portfolio standard deviation will decrease, okay? And CFA level two, they expand to the three asset portfolio. That's just an FYI. The expected return of the portfolio is still the weighted average, and the math for the portfolio variance just expands, okay? Quick little practice question to check our understanding. Which of the following statements about correlation is not correct? A, the covariance is equal to the correlation coefficient times the standard deviation of one stock times the standard deviation of the other stock. B, positive covariance means that the asset returns move together. Or C, if two assets have perfect negative correlation, it is impossible to reduce the portfolio's overall variance? The correct answer is C because we're looking for the not correct. So if we look at C, if two assets have perfect negative correlation, it is possible to reduce the portfolio's overall variance. A is correct, that's the correct formula for covariance, and B is correct, positive covariance indeed does mean that the asset returns move together. Another quick little practice problem. Stock A has a standard deviation of 0.5 and stock B has a standard deviation of 0.3. Stock A and stock B are perfectly positively correlated. According to Markowitz portfolio theory, how much should be invested in each stock to minimize portfolio standard deviation? A, 30% in stock A and 70% in stock B. B, 50% in stock A and 50% in stock B or C, 100% in stock B. It's a bit of a trick question, you just have to read it carefully because it says that the stocks are perfectly positively correlated. If that's the case, then there's no benefit from diversification, so you'd invest with the stock with the lowest risk, so the correct answer is C, you invest 100% in stock B. Here's a quick little practice question to practice cranking out the math. An investor has a two stock portfolio, stocks A and B, with the following characteristics. Standard deviation of stock A, 55%. Standard deviation of stock B, 85%. Covariance, 0.09. Weight in stock A, 70%. And weight in stock B, 30%. The variance of the portfolio is closest to A, 0.39. B, 0.54. Or C, 0.25. So the correct answer is C, it's 0.2511, and the formula for variance of a two stock portfolio is weight one squared times variance one, plus weight two squared variance two, plus two times weight one, weight two, and the covariance. They gave us the covariance 0.09. The only trick there is you have to remember that they gave us the standard deviations on stock A and stock B, so you need to square that for the variance. So it's uh, quite an easy calculation. You just be, have to be speedy on your calculator. 0 0.7 squared times 0.55 squared plus 0 0.3 squared times 0.85 squared plus two times 0 0.7 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.09. And when you work it out, it's 0 0.2511. So it's closest to C. Another quick little practice question. Asset A with a variance of 0 0.25 and B with a variance of 0.4 are perfectly positively correlated. If an investor creates a portfolio using only these two assets with 40% invested in A, the portfolio standard deviation is closest to A, 0.3742, B, 0.34, or C, 0.5795.
Okay, this one's a bit of a trick question because in fact, it says that the assets are perfectly positively correlated. In that case, we can do a weighted average on the standard deviations. So you can see, you just need to be careful though, because remember, the uh, standard deviation equals the square root of the variance. So they gave you the variance of uh, 0 0.25. So the square root of 0 0.25 equals 0 0.5. So you have the 40% in A times 0.5 standard deviation plus 0 0.6 in uh, asset B times 0 0.063246, which is the square root of 0 0.4 and you're going to get 0.57948. Now up here we have the formula for portfolio standard deviation, weight 1 squared times variance 1 plus weight 2 squared variance 2 plus 2 times weight 1, weight 2, standard deviation 1, standard deviation 2, and correlation. We can see that the correlation in this case was 1, and if we uh, work out the entire formula in the long way, we're still going to get the same answer, 0.5795. So the correct answer in this case is C. Speed is a skill and skill gets rewarded. So this is just a practice question to uh, help you go through calculating the portfolio standard deviation uh, as quickly as possible. So the standard deviation of returns for shares in Oakmont Corporation and Sunrise Corporation are 14% and 12% respectively. If the correlation between the two stocks is 0.25, and a portfolio consisting of 35% in Oakmont and 65% in Sunrise has a standard deviation closest to A, 10.2%, B, 12.7%, or C, 35%. The correct answer in this case was A, 10.2%. So we can see we have the formula for portfolio standard deviation uh, fairly easy after you've practiced it a couple of times. You just have to crank the calculation out on the calculator attention to detail, do not make any keystroke errors. And that's the last slide for this LOS, thank you.